open brackets, um, open AI underscore API underscore key. And it will, I won't do it for you because I don't want my API key to be on the screen, but it will then give you the API key. And if, that, if it does that, you know that it's all worked. At that point, everything is connected. You can use the chat R app function, or you can go into the add-ins here and under chat R, click on open chat. And when you click on that, it'll open up the little chat box. Um, it actually, first of all, in your, uh, may ask you which model you want to use because we've connected this to ChatGPT. There's more than one model um, and it asks you which of the models you want to use. You select one and in, in my case, I've already selected it, but otherwise you select one and it'll then open up the chat box and you can go for it. Now I'm also making other videos about how to use the GitHub Copilot, which is kind of good. It does sort of auto completion of code actually inside the console, which is sort of fun, but I, I don't particularly like it, but I'll show you how to use that anyway. And then my favorite is actually just to use the, uh, use the actual web pages. And there's a best practice around that. I'm going to make a video all about that. I hope this was useful on the screen at the moment. There'll be a link. You can click on that link and that'll take you uh, to learn more 365 and that'll let you create a free account and that free account lets you go to a, a dashboard where you can get all of the free cheat sheets, including the one about how to set up chat R. So I hope you found that useful. Don't ever change, don't do drugs, always do your best. Boom shakalaka, see you soon.